Yeah, so up until I bought my Slash 4x4 BL2S last year, I'd been running uh, the two-wheel drive Rustler, Bandit, and a two-wheel drive Slash. And it's been good. Uh, but I got interested in the BL2S simply because of extreme heavy duty. Yeah, the power system, 2S only, yeah, no big deal. But this one, big deal. Uh, oil filled shocks, dual crank bearing, I don't know. This one looks interesting too. I don't know if that's new to this system only. I don't like the plain TQI. Uh, the servo, yeah, meh. And the clipless body system. So, those were my compelling reasons. So I picked up the BL2S and immediately I liked the clipless body. So I wanted it to last longer. I put the tape and shoe goo treatment to it. And immediately took the BL2S system out of it. I put a Hobby Wing 120 amp ESC. I put a Valinian, an old uh, 3500 KV Valinian motor I had. I upgraded the servo to a BETU 35 kg, and it's pretty fast because the a hobby wing ESC can put out 7.4 volts BEC. I also put a Dumbo RC uh, system in receiver transmitter. When I removed the VXL, I mean the BL2S ESC out of here, I needed to figure out a way to mount the hobby wing in there, and this came out really nicely. So I can screw it down. I do have a double-sided tape underneath. I cut a piece of uh, metal just to go across it and keep it down. And so that gave me lots of room to maybe upgrade the motor later on if I wanted to. And then I added GTR shocks, front and back. I also put uh, sway bars front and back, and it looks really good. So it performs very well. I dialed in um, pinion and spur gear to get about 35 uh, on 2S and 55 on 3S. Most of the time I'll be running it on 2S anyway, uh, given the, the terrain in my backyard. And I put the BL2S system in the two-wheel drive slash. And it fits perfectly in there. Same uh, screw mount you can use. This BL2S motor runs really cool. You can be running this all day, and it, it's cool to the touch. Um, so I upgraded the two-wheel drive with that. Oh, and of course, I also added clipless body mount on it. So, and just as a reference, this is the extreme heavy-duty drive shaft, front and back, on the BL2S 4x4. And this is the drive shaft on my two-wheel drive slash. <laughs> it's practically double the size. I mean, look at that. So, I am hoping that it is extreme heavy duty. Also, for comparison, this is what the front looks like. This is the rear. And these are steel. Steel hexes.
and the shock towers were flexible. Maybe that's a good thing. But the new one, barely. Same with the rear bumper. It's not as flexible, but maybe this uh, slash, two wheel drive slash I have is older. Uh, the front is still very flexible. By the way, as a side note, this 120 amp hobby wing is 4S capable, but the 3500 kV Valenium motor is above the maximum requirement of this running 4S. I think the maximum is only 2600 kV. So keep that in mind if you're planning to do something like this. Now I was perfectly happy with what I've done with this so far. Um, it is a high center of gravity chassis, but for the terrain that I run it in primarily, that's, you know, that's better for me. Um, but all of a sudden, this Ultimate shows up for sale on a local Craigslist. For 250 bucks is what he was asking for. And it's complete, relatively minor, you know, the typical abrasion on the bottom of the chassis, the bumper and such. But it also came with the Traxxas steel drive shafts. So along with the, you know, the GTR shocks, uh, front and back, front and back sway bars, of course the low center of gravity, the Valenian system, 3S. So it did not have uh, the Bluetooth module in the uh, TQI. It does have TSM and it doesn't have the sensors installed. But other than that, I, I thought it was a great buy. Or what do you think? 250? I did add brand new tires and of course I had to add the clipless body mount um, and then I bought the uh, cover the net cover for the chassis since the drive shaft is exposed and you can tell it's already been scratched up oh it does have you know I don't it has the 2075 uh, steering servo in it which I don't think is a premium in fact my BL2S uh, servo now is much better than that. The body, no tears. A uh, couple of, a lot of scratches, of course. But I added the tape and the shoe goo, and I expect that it'll last a good long time, especially since I doubled up on the areas that are prone to uh, getting broken up sides so what do you think great buy or not a great buy okay let's run them
just like that. Okay. See if the weights that I put in front are sufficient. body on and the way.
Okay. Let's see. Start read 53. Low 50s is what I was looking for. I think I got uh, full speed out of it. Okay, so that's the BL2S. Alright, I transferred the weights from the BL2S to the Ultimate. Put in a uh, two cell battery. And so let's get to the speed run. Track, start. Anticipating in the 30s. Stop, read 36. That's it's great. Okay. Now let's do a 3S. And hopefully the weights are sufficient to keep the front down, like it did on the BL2S. Okay, 3S. Okay, try, start.
right. Let's see. Stop. Read. 55 miles an hour. Excellent. So this amount of weights in the front is sufficient to keep it from flying up. <laughs> Good to know. All right, let's see how much weight was enough to keep the front down over 50 miles an hour. Three hundred eighteen grams is enough to keep the front down. All right, like I said earlier, I think uh, I geared these very similarly, and when I say I calculated them out, these are the results. See, the, this is the ultimate, and at two S, I calculated at thirty-five point seven. And the actual is 36. And then on 3S, I calculated 53.5, and I got 55 out of it. The BL2S, the BL2S has a 15 tooth pinion gear, whereas the Ultimate has 16. And with the BL2S, I calculated 33.5 and I got 34. And at 3S, calculated 50.2 and I got 53. I think that this, the difference there has got to be the tires ballooning. After about, gosh, from all the uh, speed tests I've done, after about 60, 70, now aerodynamics really kicks in. So with the weights on the front, I could get that, you know, in the mid 50s. Um, can I get 60s out of it? For one thing, the 3500 Valenian motor and this 120 amp hobby wing can't do. 4s because it maxes out at 2600 kv motor at 4s and of course the uh, vxl 3s can only do 3s so which is plenty fine uh, for my needs for what i'm going to be using it between myself and and my grandson so yeah plenty fast all right uh, if you have any questions uh, let me know in the comments and how many of you guys have a an ultimate obviously everyone has a, a slash but how many have an ultimate and was this a great deal or not let me know thanks